and we can define a newton verbally as well and this should make sense too if you understand that a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared you can say in a, in in just in words you can say a newton is the force required one newton is the force required to accelerate a mass of one kilogram to accelerate a mass of one kilogram at one meter per second squared. And that's what a Newton is. If you have a mass that is one kilogram and you want to accelerate it at one meter per second squared, you have to push it and the force you have to push with is one Newton. So that's the definition of a Newton. One kilogram meter per second squared. And so we, we write our equation, the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration, we write it like this, F equals MA. That equation is Newton's second law of motion. That's what the second law is. Newton's second law is a description of how the force, the mass, and the acceleration are related to each other. And they're related in a mathematical way. And it's precise. This equation is exact. If you know any two of these three things, you can calculate the third. We already saw that the equation could be written like this. A equals F over M. You could also write it like this. M equals F over A. Either way, it's the same equation, just arranged differently algebraically. And if you know F and M, you can calculate the acceleration exactly. And Newton was the guy who explained how these variables are related, so obviously it's named after him, Newton's second law of motion.